Hello guys, I purchased an iMac 12.1, 21.5 inch, mid 2011 on eBay and it has just arrived in this box. I will be opening it up to access the issues it has. The seller mentioned something about a boot loop issue and a flickering screen. So I look forward to fixing any issues I might encounter along these lines. When I switched on the iMac for the first time, I noticed that it took quite a while to boot up. And finally, it landed on the Mac OS Utilities page. I checked Dick's Utilities and realized that the system might have failed in the process of installing a version of Mac OS X. So, I decided to try out some basic solutions to revive the system. I connected the iMac to Wi-Fi and attempted installing Mac OS from the OS X base system. Everything seemed to be going well, but it eventually got stuck on the screen, about 16 seconds remaining. So I had to look for an alternative solution. I put the iMac while holding down on the command plus option plus R keys. This initiates internet recovery and provides the opportunity to install a fresh version of Mac OS via the internet. It requires an internet connection and after several minutes of loading lands on the Mac OS utilities page. Attempting to install Mac OS gave me an error message. The recovery server could not be contacted. In short, this attempt also failed to recover the OS on the PC. Thankfully, I came across a solution that worked and I will be walking through the solution in this video. This solution will most likely work for other iMac models and MacBook PCs. For this solution, you will need a computer running Mac OS and an internet connection. You would also need a USB flash drive with a capacity of 8GB or more. Open Safari browser on the Mac PC you will be using for creating the installation media. Go to Google and type Mac OS High Sierra Download and hit Return. Select Mac OS High Sierra on the Mac App Store. Click on Get to download the OS. If you are using a newer version of Mac OS like I am doing here, you will get this error message. Simply click on quit to close the message. Go to applications. You should see install Mac OS High Sierra in your list of apps. Connect your USB flash drive to the PC. If you have important files on the USB flash drive, please do a backup, since everything on the USB drive will be erased. Open Dix Utility. Click on your USB flash drive. Click on Erase. Select the Mac OS extended formats and rename the USB if you choose. Click on Erase to erase the USB flash drive. You will see this message if the operation was successful. 
If not, you might consider trying a different USB flash drive. Click on Done. Under Go menu, select Utilities and open Terminal. Go to Applications, right click on the Install Mac OS High Sierra app, select Show Package Contents, open Contents folder. Open Resources folder. You should see a file named Create Install Media. Type sudo space in your terminal window. Drag and drop the Create Install Media file in your terminal window. Type dash dash volume space. Drag and drop your USB flash drive in your terminal window. Type dash dash application path space. Open your applications and drag and drop the install Mac OS High Sierra app in your terminal window. Now hit the return key. You will be prompted to enter your system password. Note that no characters will display, so simply type in your password and hit the return key. When this prompt appears, type Y and hit on the return key. Patiently wait for the copying installer files to disk process to complete. In my case, it took about 23 minutes to complete. When the copying process is completed, you will see these messages, indicating that your installation USB is almost ready. When the whole process is completed, you will see your terminal prompt appear. You can now proceed to safely eject your installation USB and proceed to the next step. Connect your installation USB flash drive to the PC. Power down your PC and power up again holding down on the option key on your keyboard. Select your USB flash from the options that come up. When the Mac OS Utilities page comes up, Select Install Mac OS and click on Continue. Click on Continue. Agree to the terms. Select the PC's drive and click on Next. Allow the PC to do its thing and patiently wait for the installation process to complete. In my case, it took about 26 minutes before arriving at the welcome page. Go ahead and set up your PC as you desire. You can safely eject your USB installation media and your PC is now up and running. This solution achieved using a USB flash installation media worked perfectly for me and the PC was up and ready to use in no time. As regards to the screen flickering, I did not observe this on my initial boots. However, I decided to take out the RAM models and have them cleaned since they were indeed very dusty. I plan to upgrade the RAM and operating system on this iMac, so be on the lookout for my video. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like and share this video with others. If you have any questions or comments on this video, you can kindly leave them below in the comments section. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye for now.